Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. There are plenty of reviews going around on the internet. So what I wanted to do differently is that I took this bag on a two week trip just to see kind of how it handled before I put my review out there. So first we're gonna start off with a tour of the bag and then I'll comment on some of the pros and cons of each little thing that I like and don't like. First, we'll talk about what it's made out of. It's 400D nylon and it is, they say weatherproof. Um, I don't know if I'd go out in the pouring rain in this thing, but I did carry it around in the rain. And the way that this top hatch closes, um, you kind of have confidence that that main compartment isn't gonna get wet and the water's just gonna run down. I don't know about the weatherproofness of the zippers. They look like they're made to be weatherproof, but that was a pro to me. I wanted something that if it started raining and I was trying to get to some cover or something like that, that the backpack would be able to stay dry enough to keep my stuff inside safe because usually I'm carrying around a lot of valuables in a bag like this. So first we'll start on the top here. If you unzip this zipper, this is the laptop compartment. So the compartment all the way in the back is where the laptop would go all the way into the bag. You kind of have two dividers in here. The next one would be for like an iPad or something. It's not quite as deep. And then the other one is a very shallow compartment where you can just put things for like quick access that you would want. And this zipper, also waterproof, but I think I would worry about this getting rain directly on it. The massive selling point of this bag being the accessibility. So when it's on your back, you can swing it around like this and you can unzip and then have access in the side here. Obviously that is absolutely massive. Another big pro is going through security. You can just kind of like swing this open and they can see almost totally inside your bag depending on how you have it set up. So this is totally customizable. Um, these foam dividers are Velcro, so they Velcro to the bag. You can set it up however you want. They also can um, be totally flat or you can set them up into thirds by these little flaps. So you can use the flaps to set it up into like one third, two thirds, whatever you want. So that is just absolutely massive and I've loved this, especially the customizability of it because depending on the type of gear you have, you can set it up. I was carrying a drone and a Ronin and a small mirrorless camera. So I had it set up for me and it just worked absolutely great. So this main compartment, this top one being accessible via this clasp right here. And then the wings. These, I'm calling them wings, they probably have a different name, but they can also unzip and they can store a ton of stuff. So I had like memory cards and batteries and all kinds of things in here that I could also quickly access just Absolutely great design. You can put a bunch, a bunch of stuff in this bag. So that's one side. The other side mirrors it. Most of the zippers, they deter theft. So you can hook them through the loop and then have that hooked there. So you can't really just yank it open. You have to unhook it. The other thing is on these wings to get them open, they have a zipper at the top and the bottom. So you can access it from the top or you can access it from the bottom. I'm gonna talk about these side pockets here. They are magnetic, so they clasp closed. The one con about these is that I think they're actually a little bit small. So it, it was kind of hard to get a water bottle in. Maybe my water bottle is big, just a little bit small. You can also hold a tripod with them and they have a strap to hold the tripod to the bag here. And that came in very, very handy for carrying around a tripod for nighttime photography. So that was a big plus. It can be done on either side. It's got the side handle here. It's not you know, perfectly balanced, but that wasn't really an issue to me at all. So let's work our way around this side right here. So you have the regular straps, um, which are great, and they pivot, which is really, really nice. So depending on how broad your shoulders are, they'll just pivot to the broadness of your shoulders, which is really, really nice. And um, they also, you can use the handle of your luggage and you can put this bag across your luggage, which was another big plus. This foam, kind of keeps your whole back off of the bag. So it's really just kind of like down your spine. That helped for ventilation. I really liked that a lot. They also have a waist strap, which can be tucked away 
back into um, these side pockets for water bottles or tripods. My comment about these is that they're a little thin. Older bags and other bags that I've used have had thicker ones that I really, really liked and offered great support. One comment about this is that they're a little bit thin and also the clasping mechanism, not my favorite, it just kind of hooks together. Um, everything I've had in the past has just been kind of the, the plastic buckle, which has worked out great. So this is just a little different, took me a little bit to get used to it, but still great. It is metal here, this Peak Design. It is metal, which is which is nice, but um, I dinged it up pretty good, kind of carrying it around Europe. But they can be tucked into the water bottle holders as well. It has this top handle here, which is absolutely great for kind of getting it around. You have the other handle on the other side, and then on the bottom there is no handle, but it does have this pouch that you can access to get straps out of. So, and you could probably also, I mean, maybe you could fit like a poncho in there, because um, it, does, it does have a magnet to keep it shut. But this would be to hook anything you want on this backside. So shoes, another tripod. If you got a raincoat or something that you want to strap to the outside, you can cross them. You can do them this way, however you want to do it. I didn't really use these too, too much because the thickness of the bag was perfect for me and carry-on size, and I didn't want to make the bag any thicker. So that is another pro, is that this bag was designed. I have the 30 liter, and which is the bigger of the two bags and it can be carried on any airline, so it meets the requirements there. Let's talk about this top compartment and this clasp. I'm sure they have a name for exactly what this clasp is. It is um, magnetic, and it also can go to a different size to make it bigger. So when I was really packing this thing heavy, like on our actual tra travel days, I'd be up here towards the top, and it worked absolutely fine, so it makes that top compartment nice and big pull out, down, and it undoes. Really like that design. The one thing that I will say about this, which is just kind of the nature of the beast, I really like this, but when you put the bag down, it has a tendency to fall. And if you put it down like a concrete surface or something like that, this buckle just gets scratched up like crazy. So it looked really, really nice for the first day that I had it. And then if I laid it against the wall or put it down for a second, and then it kind of rolled onto its front, this buckle did get scratched up a bit which is really no big deal, but if you're really into aesthetics, it, mine looks pretty bad right now. And that, that's kind of the same for all the metal components of this bag, but I think that's to be expected if you're gonna use this every day carrying it around, that wear and tear is gonna end up happening to it. So I do wanna highlight and say it again, the accessibility is absolutely great. Being able to keep the bag on your person, not put it down on the ground in order to change a lens out, in order to build your gimbal, anything like that, I thought was absolutely incredible. That was the main reason that I wanted to get this bag was to try that out because in the past, I just didn't have proper bags. So I put the bag on the ground, I have to dig through a pocket and that was absolutely worth it in my opinion. Now let's get to the, some of the cons about this bag. For the price, this bag, the one that I got, was $299, so 300 bucks. I thought that the zippers would be a bit more high quality. The rest of the bag feels okay, but I don't know about the longevity of these zippers, how long they're gonna last. So cons being the price, the zippers, the chest strap. So it does have a chest strap, I didn't touch on that yet. Um, so you can see here, this chest strap. I'm, I'm used to the chest straps that have the plastic buckle in the middle. This one just hooks on the other strap here. And what I will say, it, so it's got like designated notch points at which it will attach and then you kind of pull it tight there. Something that made me worried and it, ha it didn't happen to me, but so maybe this is a false fear, but you can unhook it, but you can also unhook this other side. So the strap is totally removable, which I don't love that idea because that means you can lose it. It didn't happen to me and it didn't come off, but that was just something I was a little worried about. These straps themselves were, were great. They are a little bit small, a little bit thin, but this is supposed to be an everyday backpack. And again, it's not massive, but there definitely was a breaking point for me. So anything kind of under 15 pounds, which I know is a lot, was pretty comfortable for me. If I got up above 15, these straps were just a little thin for my shoulders and would just kind of start to wear on my shoulders as we got into the day. I really do like that these straps kind of conform to your shoulder width. I like that a lot. So me and my wife could wear this bag, no problem. Normally in the past, like I've gotten a backpack that really fits me well and then she'll try to wear it and it just doesn't work because it's a little too wide for her and vice versa. But this kind of like automatically adjusts 
to the width of your shoulder. So that was really, really great for us. Again, plenty of storage space. Absolutely love the wing design and it opening up and that I could bring it on pretty much any airplane with no issues. Fits under the seat, absolutely no problem. Hope this review of the Peak Design Everyday Backpack was helpful for you. I'll put a link down below if you wanna take a look. Also, if you have any thoughts of ways that I could test it better, or if you know a little bit more about this bag, please feel free to let me know what you do know about it, or if there's another bag on the market that I've totally missed that also kinda has this wing design to where I don't have to put the bag down, please let me know about that because I would be very, very interested. Thanks so much for watching Break It Yourself, as always. Don't forget to thumbs me up and we'll see you next time.